All right, guys. All right. It is a spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking about an over-the-top beautiful, just a little bit smoky day here in the end times in paradise. All right. So this is your 64-year-old white man with a bad back and shoulder. This is pretty much, if you add it all up, five days. <laughs> you have a 64-year-old decrepit old man. Put a chainsaw in one hand and a weed whacker in the other. Send them out for five days and watch him make I just talked to my real estate agent. Uh, we were laughing. Uh, she doesn't disagree with me that I have made uh, $15,000 out here in uh, well, five days, so $3,000 a day. That, uh, <laughs> anyway, the power of fossil fuels. Now this was a, the weed, most of this was done with the weed whacker. They, the weed whacker, well, a brush cutter, I guess you would call it, a four-inch metal blade on it, a four-inch blade on the weed whacker, and a 16-inch uh, chainsaw. I think we have a nest of owls up there in that dead tree, so many of this is what I have been been up to while uh, I guess my fellow doomers have been dual, doom scrolling, talking about all the habitat destruction and everything else. I wish you could see the uh, the sandhill cranes are uh, you can't see them. So these sandhill cranes absolutely are thrilled about what I have done here. So uh, we have this group of sandhill cranes hanging out, checking out their new, their new digs. Uh, so I've been hanging out with these sandhill cranes, improving my reptile habitat and not to mention bringing the breeze through here. Good Lord. So, uh, we have 53 of these big oak trees on this acre of land. 53 oak trees, at least 12 inches uh, at chest height. So, all 53 oak trees are left. So, there's probably about 100 trees that uh, are left so what I've been doing is you know taking out all the undergrowth so uh, it's pretty much a closed canopy except for where that giant owl tree but we have a beautiful palm tree growing up so my guess is right about the time the palm tree gets up to the big knot in the oak, that oak will come down and that palm will have a beautiful piece of sky. But we pretty much have the closed canopy above. And so that's why these straggling little trees just had no chance. But, uh, Good Lord. Here are the cardinals. So, we have sandhill cranes and cardinals and our food owl. And then, of course, this is the, uh, the back of the property. This is, this is pretty much what I did this morning. <laughs> so, 
So, fat boy, if you're listening uh, to this, this is the back side of our easternmost lot. So, this was about two hours of work. It's a 16 inch chainsaw that was, uh, was dead yesterday afternoon but came back to life. So, uh, here is the, uh, you know, the pond and the, the shrinking pond, although, uh, I do see egrets and, of course, the sandhill cranes, they were right here yesterday, I see egrets out in our pond and, don't know if there's gators out there or not, I'm, Quite sure there's frogs. Still have to take this is a little grove of former red swamp maples. Good God Almighty. <laughs> we are having some fun now. But uh, And the breeze that is 24 hours ago there was no breeze blowing through here this was uh, but this was was a uh, stand of that invasive cherry laurel shit good god that was a four inch blade in one hour down that so, uh, uh, anyway it is a fine day to be a Florida real estate investor this acre of land is for sale by the way so uh, this is three buildable lots we are inside, that is literally the city limit sign of Inverness, Florida. We are five minutes from two supermarkets, six minutes from Walmart, seven minutes from Lowe's home improvement store. And you would think that you're just out, you know, just in the middle of the country Oh, any who's, it has been a fun five days, uh, now all we have to do is come uh, <laughs> pick up sticks, so this is what I will be doing next winter for six months is uh, Being down here, uh, picking up sticks and having my little fire. The fire department uh, told me that my fire cannot be more than eight feet in diameter. <laughs> I said, dude, I said, I don't think you have any clue of what I am talking about, but because I am in the city limits of Inverness, I am the the last property, literally the city limits is my back property line. I have to uh, follow the city of Inverness fire code instead of the Citrus County. So instead of a 20 foot, <laughs> instead of a 20 foot diameter, uh, fire pit, I am allowed an eight foot, but I told them where I was, and they said if, uh, the state of Florida, the ones burning a million acres right now and causing all of this, he said if the state of Florida were to give me an exception, that uh, I could have a 20-foot fire instead of an 8-foot fire. But uh, 
this will be a fine place to spend the winter next year so uh, this place is gonna look like an absolute park but, uh, if anybody wants the most beautiful it's actually about 1.3 acres of land in Inverness Florida uh, one of the in one of the fastest growing regions of the entire country you know where to find me and uh, you can come pitch your little cabin in the woods right here this would be a fine place for a hip camp or an airbnb i assure you this has Airbnb hip camp written all over it. Alright, but I am back to my truck because I am dying of thirst and I have some iced tea with my name on it. And the little 90 seconds from here, there is a place to buy Arizona iced tea. Oh my guys.